What's up, man? NFL 25 gamers. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on how to stop the run out of the nickel strong. You know, pass defense is, is great, and a lot of uh, heavy uh, powered offenses this season are, are really throwing the ball some, but the reality is a lot of them are also running the ball, and a nice balanced offense is the best way to go in Man NFL 25. So today, we're going to focus on our basic uh, run defense out of the nickel strong, and the play we're going to be using. Uh, to break down that is the free safety snake blitz three. Uh, a very nice play here. We're going to take a look at it and how it stops the run. Uh, and it uses some of the concepts we used last week and some of the concepts we're going to focus on this week to stop the run in Madden NFL 25. We're going to use the strong close to break down right runs, left runs, and middle runs. And so we're going to use the strong close quick toss, a run that a lot of people are using this season uh, to break open uh, football games. Okay, so what we're going to do with this play is we're going to basically, we're going to make it look exactly like everything we else are doing. So if they're in a compressed set, we don't have to base a line. We just have to call press coverage. So here, uh, we're going to shift our linebackers to the right. We're going to spread our defensive line, and then we're going to call that press coverage. What I like to also do is go ahead and globally re-blitz the left of screen linebacker on the screen. And that's going to give his alignment a proper, he's basically just going to line up in the right spot now. Now for run defense, I like to use her, um, Reggie Nelson here, and with our base zone coverage, we also sometimes will use her the safety, uh, and depending on, just depending on the opponent's tendency, it, it will tell if he's a run heavy, I'll uh, use her the safety, if he's a pass heavy guy, I'll typically use her the linebacker, but basically all you have to do is shift your line over, uh, shift your linebackers over, re-blitz that middle linebacker here, straight down, so he's going straight, and then he'll line up properly, and then you can slide your corners in if you're face, facing strong close and having trouble pressing the receivers. And then, like I said, you want to use the safety, and I usually like to get in the middle of the field, put him in a quarterback spy assignment. And then uh, here we'll look at the Packers. Uh, we'll look at a run to the left here, snap of the ball, and you see that there's three or four guys in the backfield as soon as the ball snapped. Uh, just a very good run defense, in my opinion. And now we're going to look at it to the right side. Remember, you don't want to call the run defense as well. Uh, real quick, guys. Um, you don't want to call the run defense if you're in a situation where, like I said, you know, you know, second and two, or third and third and inches. You know, probabilities of you really locking them up is problematic, especially if they have the option to pass. This is a all-out run defense here again. Um, but you do want to call it in fourth and two, uh, third and three, third and two, third and four situations where you know there's a good possibility he could be running the football, and uh, that's when you want to call upon your uh, your lockdown run defense. Here we're gonna look at the toss. The toss is probably the hardest thing to stop from this uh, look here. You're really gonna have to do your job and get out wide with Nelson and set that edge and force it back inside. So here we go, toss. And didn't do a great job of setting the edge, but ended up wrapping him up. But here we're going to take a look at that in instant replay. I got that fixed for you guys over this weekend. So what happens on this assignment is basically the formation aligns itself so well that it's gonna the middle linebacker is going to take the center every single time. That's why we re-blitz him. So now that leaves us free as a user player. So that's why it's our job to almost always make tackles and, and, and things like that. And you see here they just, they're basically just looking to have to get to the edge, but we're not going to let them get to the edge because of our user skills and our user uh, player. It's going to force them back to the inside where if we did our job here, prop we didn't properly do it, but if say if we were, well, our job would look like is we're going to be, we want to be Leon Hall. We're, here, we're really out there setting the edge, so he forces them back inside, and uh, here you'll see uh, Benjara Screenells get blown up. We'll take a look at that one more time here. So set up the play. And if they do pass, our assignment is the deep middle, obviously. But strong close toss. We got to get to the edge there. Uh, it's hard to do with two controllers. Let me see if I can maybe put him in a. Uh, let me see if I can put him in a hook, like I just man him up or something, so that he doesn't like lock up forward. Okay, so we set up the run defense here, and uh, we're just putting him in a flat for showing for video purposes. In the real game, you want him in the spy. But anyway, here, go, and then we got to get to the edge. And you see that time, Harrison does a great job of setting the edge for us. But again, you also saw us out there setting the edge, getting to the edge, forcing the opponent and the running back, more importantly, to cut it back upfield. Yes, he could have cut that up for green gas or green grass, but I'm right there with my user player. I'm ready to blow that up if he chooses to. The only idea he has is to maybe break a tackle, bounce it to the outside, and obviously with two guys out there, not going to be a possibility. So this is our basic run defense, guys, the free safety snake blitz. Oh, real quick, I forgot to show you a run inside to the right. 
So here's an inside run to the right. Same assignment. Everything's the same. Nothing changes uh, in the run defense. And remember, our job is to basically shoot the gaps and try to wrap them up the court, wrap up the running back while also uh, monitoring that outside run. So here, inside run. And then we just get out there and set the edge with Nelson and wrap him up. And that's actually a really good example of what will happen. And that's why the middle linebacker is always blitzing. Because you see here, the middle linebacker blows up the A-gap. And that's what the idea is. A lot of people are able to push that A-gap. I feel like the A-gap is one of the most uh, not really often talked about. Everyone talks about gap integrity and 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 in setting the edge but now a lot of people focus on this season is i think you have to focus on setting that a gap to where they can't just come to the middle through the middle for two three yards every single time so here we set the a gap by missing by the middle line by blitzing it's going to force it's, he's going to shoot that a gap for us so all we have to worry about now is setting the edge and that uh really allows us to just kind of shoot the gaps and, and run around and make plays with our user player here harrison does another great job of setting the edge on the outside even if there was a fullback we're sitting right there to wrap up so uh pretty good run defense here guys out of Nick Strong. I'm not going to say it's the best run defense, but it will get the job done for you. Just make sure you remember the setup. The setup will be in the description below. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching my videos today. Be sure to come back tomorrow and the day after this where we're going to get into our blitzing defenses, how to put pressure on the quarterback out of the Nickel Strong defense. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.